Hello everyone, my name is Fox the VA. Uh, I don't really like making videos involving my face, uh, but I didn't really feel like editing a video either. I didn't want to put something in front of a screen and then I said it. I want to talk about VA Party Co for a minute. Nothing bad at all, nothing bad, I swear, I promise. There is a lot being worked on at this very moment for VA Party Co. A lot of work is being put into a lot of stuff, along with Run Ali Run, which we'll go into that later. But VA Party Co. is, well, it's getting there. A VA Party Co. is currently struggling a little bit. I say struggling in the terms of we're looking for voice actors, and voice actors are kind of hard, I guess, to come by for this series. Along with writing book two, book two was a bit of a struggle in the beginning. Well, one of the chapters were, uh, it's going a lot more smoothly now. Originally, for book two, there were going to be six chapters, now there's seven, and there is a, there's a slight possibility, depending on what happens, that there could be an eighth chapter, and I'm not entirely sure, but there could be eight altogether. It all depends how everything goes with book two, so it all really depends on uh, how it all goes. Other than that, though, video particle is going really well. I have a lot of shorts planned out. Some shorts that are unwritten, some shorts that have already been written. The issue is just voice actors. <clears throat> That's my only main problem at this very moment is a lack of voice actors that I'm going to need for not only the shorts, but for book two. And as I showed you all before, uh, well not showed you all, but there's the video with the, the origins thing uh, for VA Partica, which was the Scotty origins, which is a whole video about the origin story of Scotty Michaels. And that's also in the works as well. <laughs> and by in the works, I mean nothing has been done for it yet because I can't do anything with it until I have book two finished uh, because I would prefer that that way because it just makes my life a million times easier to release it like that. So all of book two and then the origin stuff, which trust me, it makes a big, big difference. Uh, I did want to say though, other than a lack of voice actors and all that, everything else is going really fine. Run, uh, run Ollie Run is going pretty well, in my opinion, I hope, I think. <laughs> uh, people seem to like the prologue, so I got to see one on the way of that coming along. Just waiting on some voice actors, all those scripts are finished and stuff like that. And then move on to audio editing and then eventually visuals. Uh, so. Yeah, main priority here, VA Party Co, obviously, and like I said, everything's going very well. It's just a matter of finding some more voice actors. Um, and if you are interested, by the way, in being a voice actor, I have the casting call page. I'm going to put it in the description of this video because I I really am in need of some, of some VAs right now. Other than that, though, VA Party Co is pretty alright. I don't have much else to say, but I can give you some fun little things that are going to be added when in book two. Book two uh, will have a, a music sequence. Uh, I'm not kidding either. I, as in, not just like background music, I mean there will be a music sequence. This isn't fucking tuned. But yeah, uh, there's gonna be music. I think that'll be really cool in my opinion. I'm, I'm very excited for that. Honestly, I am. I think that's gonna be a really cool part. Book two compared to book one, book one was a lot more dark, I guess, which I would have thought book two was going to be maybe like a year or two ago, but it turns out that's not the case. It turns out book two is a lot more of an emotional journey than it is a horror story, I guess, which I didn't really think it was gonna turn into that. I'm not really annoyed about that. I think it's fine. And I think Run Rolly Run makes up for that a little bit with the whole creepy cannibal guy and poor little kid fucking traumatized. I think that kind of makes up for the lack of horror that's going to be in book two. But other than VA Party Co, I am working on a a lot of projects. There's a bunch of other projects that go deeper down that I can't really announce at the moment and other stuff. Even for VA Party Co, there is some secret stuff that I'm working on. Um, and yeah, you know, that's really it. Uh, but thank you all for so much for watching. You know what? Uh, I'm I'm feeling generous. I'm gonna give you a small little sneak peek of Via Party Co. Book two, uh, read by myself. Enjoy. There were two gifts wrapped up on his bed. One said from Billy, and the other read from Dad. They were both dusty looking and faded. They each had cards. 
He read aloud Billy's first. Hello, Val. It's Billy. It's been about two years since you've been gone, and so I asked Dad if I could write you a little note. So when you come back, you know, I was always thinking about you. I'm not sure if you ran away or how you went missing, but, but know that I miss you, and I can't wait to see you again. With love, Billy V. Adrian. Oh, Billy. He opened his gift. It was a little plush fox. Valentino smiled and placed it down, moving on to Victor's card. What the hell? Inside the envelope was a very old-looking letter. The date printed on was 1972. He read the old letter. Dear Valentino, I know that one day you will grow up to be an inspiration to your baby brother, as you have been to me. There is nothing more special to me than my firstborn son becoming all grown up. Who knows what will happen when you become an adult? But let's not get too far ahead. Just know I will always be proud of you. You're going to do great things in this world. I know you will. Never forget our walk in the park. Happy 10th birthday. Love, Dad. Valentino, nearly shaking, opened the gift. It was an old picture frame with a photo of him and Victor at the park. Valentino is very young, and they're both eating ice cream together. His voice almost quivers. I almost forgot about that day. Ice cream for breakfast, and we went to the park. I was nine, and Billy wasn't born too long after. My birthday was just a few months away, and... And Mom died not that long after. No wonder this is so old. Dad must have been holding on to this.